Hello to all my wonderful friends out there. Thank you for joining me once again here at Nat Scraps. My name is Natalie Bakonic. I am a mocha with close to my heart. And again, we are creating with the Christmas Story Collection. Today is layout five, and you've just seen there a picture of what is in the instructions for this Christmas Story Kit and a layout there that has all these tags. So I'm going to take that idea of all of those tags. I'm going to copy that a little bit and then twist it around and do my own thing. I hope you guys will stick around and see how completely different it is in the end. So I'm going to set up, as I said, those tags as they had them on the original. Now I've got just got two white base pieces of paper here. So that is not going to work. We'll fix that a little bit later down the road. But in the meantime, I'm going to cut some photo mats. So I decided to cut three by four photo mats, but two of them I've left just a little bit longer and I'm going to dovetail them so they are matching in with some of those other dovetails that are in these um, tags and flags that are on here. I'm then bringing in this set and it is part of the October, December mini release and it particularly comes from the Cherish range and it's called the Cherish Card Making Stamp Thin Cut and Stencil. And you'll see that in a moment. This stamp and thin cut collection with the stencil, it is mind blowing. It's so pretty. So I'm going to stamp that out and I'm going to do six in the end, but I bring in that first stamp that I tested with to test some colors with the stencil. And you'll see I've brought in quite a few different colors, some orange, some red, and I'm really not quite sure what color combination I want to choose just yet. And I'm thinking about it and I start with a, I think it's red door or maybe an orange and bring in some aged mahogany and they're in the oxide inks. And it's just too red for me. I don't, I didn't want that kind of blaring red orange color. So I kind of go, nope, that's not going to work for me. Um, I test out some colors for the leaves. So I go in with a little bit of bundled sage and then I do try this dark green. I think it might be uh, one of the pine ones, but I, it's not working. So then I bring in the close to my heart pine and bundle sage and I really love the colors for the leaves I think they really work so each one of these is an individual stencil so you've seen that the flowers were one stencil then the leaves are a second one and then there's a the third stencil that does the berries and the insides of the flowers so I'm going to go in and this time do it on one of the properly stamped images here and I choose to come in then with a little bit of mink and a little bit of the mist inks. So starting off with that mink, which was, is a sort of like a gray color there, and then using the mist, which is a really light greeny gray to do some highlights around the outside of those flowers. And then I come back in and do the leaves. So I change out the stencil and I'm going to bring in the leaf stencil place that over now I just hold this in place but you could use a little bit of masking tape or a little bit of washi tape to hold these in place so the stencils don't move but here I was kind of still just testing and I did that uh, which I cut out the footage of but I do that later when I do all of the um, each section so I do all the flowers and then come back in and do all the leaves and then do the outside edge now with this one here you do see this is the um, little berries and the centers now I do go in with red with these thinking a little bit of red but I changed that up on the final layout and you'll see with the finished ones there I don't put any color on the berries at all and then I go back in with um, the sage mist sorry not sage and do the centers of the flowers so you can see the one there that's got the red on it that I put down it's a lot darker than the other ones that I did later on and ultimately I choose those ones that I did much more softer and lighter in color so you'll see me take out that 
the one with the red centers and berries in a moment and get rid of that. So I'm just testing everything out here. I'm making sure I like the combination and how many the flowers and where they're going to sit and just moving things around and getting an idea to see if this layout is going to work. Now we have that dark white background still, which we need to fix that issue. So we're going to do that in a moment. And um, that's where I take out that red flower and I'm going to fi fix this background. Now I did have a um, piece of cut paper down behind to I get rid of those because I know that I'm not going to use them. Here I've gone in with a little bit of pine and then the gold gloss spray. I'm going to add just a few dollops of that gold gloss spray in amongst that green. So, And I have also spritzed the green pine ink with water. I'm coming back in with a plastic bag and I'm going to smush this all over the area where I know where those um, photo mats and the banners are going to be. I'm going to add some on the other side, try to match it up. And it's always the way, isn't it, that, that um, you yeah, have one you're 100% happy with and the other one that's not quite right. I have to go back in and add a little bit more um, pine ink there to smooch around on the one on the right. Add in some water and giving that a little bit more of a softer feel. The majority of this is going to be covered up so it's not a big deal that there was a slight difference there but I do like the little hint of gold that I put in behind that as well so it wasn't just a flat green. Now I cut some base pages for these two white ones to sit on and I stuffed it up completely guys but I just kept going um, in that I cut um, half an inch too much off the outside edges and you can see there that it's not quite right but I wasn't going to waste two white pages with backgrounds on them that I really liked. Um, I could have tried to put some borders and things around the bottom, but in the end I was happy just to move on and leave this as it is. Here I'm just rearranging all those bits back again and I don't make you sit through it for a third time, thankfully. And I've had a little look through my Picture My Life cards and I'm trying to find a title um, and some embellishments. So I pull out this little birdie here and think he would look nice up there. Thinking about a few of these ornaments and what can hang. I um, try that um, Picture My Life card down in the centre but ultimately I think it takes too much green, makes, makes it too full in there in the centre. And I look at this, um, what does it say, holiday memories and think that that might look good up in the top and think then it might look um, good also a little bit like a similar shape to the tags. So I use one of those tags as a bit of a template and I cut some nice corners on that and pop that up in the top left hand corner as a title. So here I'm going to cut that little birdie out and pop him on the right and seeing that most of this is kind of coming together really really well. I'm not sure about having that fourth photo mat and I really am an hour and a bit about that right um, up till the end. I'm thinking about whether I'd like a little journaling spot there or what I, whether I want a second little title. I look at that, oh, what fun. And I do toss up for quite a while what is going to happen on that photo mat. I feel like um, it's too structured with the four that... Um, and too blank sort of thing with the four. I take that holiday memories that I didn't mind it up there, but I, I bring in the happy holidays and see if they're going to fit. So we'll see which one we choose in the end. Here I'm adding some foam to the back of my photos. And halfway through that, I think, mm, before I stick all this down, I think I will just go around the outside edge of these tags with a fine black liner and add a little bit of detail there because they kind of bleed a little bit into that background and I want them just to pop a little bit more. So then I go back to doing the foam tape. So I put that on the, that middle flower is adhered straight down onto the page. Then the photos have been mounted up 
and the two flowers in the center on the right and left are both also foamed up to give lots of dimension there and it does give the page a lot of depth and dimension in real life you can't really get that on the video but you do get that that in um, real life when you're looking at the page that's everything pretty much stuck down guys I'd gone and I'd um, done that off camera for you so you didn't have to sit through that for a third time I'm now looking through this little box of embellishments and there's these little um, ornament hangers little gold bits that I think will look nice off the tag so I pop them on and then there's a few little ring holders for the tags as well that are part of the embellishment kit and I rifle through and, and pull out a few of those and see if I can stick them in places. I've also found a couple of little pieces of holly and just tiny little things in that box that will help um, fill out the decorations. So these are the little ring pulls for the tags and I think in the end I change a couple of these around. I stick them down and then move them um, so that the white tag has a green one which means that it stands out again a little bit more because as it is it kind of blends in and this is where we move that one around so I'm sort of not 100% sure what I have in that little box I am really just rifling through having a look and there you can see I'm trying to figure out what wording is on that one when I'm quite happy with that I'm going to bring in the Oh, I'm going to stick down sorry first I'm going to stick down this title so this is the one that I've chosen to go with which is happy holidays and I am still debating about that oh what fun on the other side so um, I'm still not 100% sure whether that will end up on the layout or not hope you guys have been enjoying this series um, please leave a comment below if you have or you um, have a favorite layout you'd like to share with me um, or if you want to um, send, go to my Facebook page and put some photos of stuff you're creating with this I would love to see them here I've just put in some little stickers from that sticker sheet so I found some gold stars there there's these ornaments and I think mm, maybe I can pop those down below but there is something going on in the back of my head that says this doesn't necessarily have to be a Christmas layout there is not a hundred percent stuff on there that says that this is a Christmas layout if I took the happy holidays off um, it could be photos of anything a wedding page anything and I I'm I think I'm erring on that side at the moment that I really don't need it to be a full-blown Christmas layout so I have took off the bits that were really Christmassy and anything that you know all the ones that sort of had really Christmas saying on those stickers and that that just weren't going to work for me um I take there's one that I of the flowers I'd cut up earlier just to see if I could put a couple of bits out on the side so I've added those in now and that just um has a little ending to that what I'd like to like a banner kind of look there so that there's a couple of bits on either side I hand stitch around the outside edge guys and I don't make you watch that because it can get very very boring and this is getting very very close to done so just a few more stickers and I move some that are over from the, the right hand side over to that left so I sort of have three sections with those gold stickers in there and then I've got to make that final decision about oh what fun I'd love to know guys should I put the oh what fun on there should I left the oh what fun off <laughs> I went to glue that down and then realized that I had that photo that um, writing from the photo mat underneath it wasn't going to work so I've just um, attached a bit of white paper over that and then once the oh what fun was on there then you can't actually tell that there was writing underneath there final details guys adding those little bits of liquid um, pearls again um, which you've seen me do on those last few layouts so keeping these quite cohesive those berries that I left uncolored are all going to be small dots of the gold liquid pearls as well as a couple of dots up the top and down the bottom if you've come this far guys thank you for getting all the way through I hope you do enjoyed this layout 
and um, I want to thank you for taking your time out today and watching me. We have a slow down here. I hope you enjoy that and I will see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.